Turkish Ramadan pide is a bread made specially for the month of Ramadan to eat along with iftar, feast breaking meal time or sahur breakfast before dawn. Close to iftar time you can see many people waiting in line in bakeries to get a hot Ramadan pide for the iftar. But it's easy to make at home too. This is Ayşenur Altan. Let's get started. First I'm gonna prepare my dough. I have 250 milliliters lukewarm water. You can check with your finger it should bite a little bit. Adding 1 tablespoon dry yeast. It could be 20 grams of fresh or a pack of instant yeast. And 1 tablespoon sugar. I like to sprinkle over the yeast and gently mix and let it dissolve and wait for about 5 minutes until it becomes frothy, which is the sign of the activated yeast. Over the mixture I added half cup lukewarm milk and 3 fourth of a cup lukewarm water. To the mixture I'm gonna add about teaspoon olive oil and first 5 cups of all-purpose flour or bread flour you can use and 2 teaspoon salt. It is better to add the salt over the flour so it will be mixed before touching to the yeast mixture. Of course you can knead your dough by hand. After the dough comes together I continue to add until it is a little bit sticky but smooth playable dough. At the last seconds I added a bit more oil so I can take out my dough easily. In total I used 5.5 cups of flour and knead for about 4-5 minutes. After shaping my dough into a bowl, I'm gonna cover and let it rest until it doubles for about 45 minutes or 1 hour. I'm gonna cut my risen dough into two equal pieces and turn them into balls again. After this point it is important to be gentle with the dough while playing or shaping so we can keep the air bubbles inside as much as we can. At this point if you rest the dough once again for about 10 minutes it would be even more easier to roll out or stretch by hand even but I preferred using rolling pin this time because I didn't have much time. Just gently roll. We're gonna rest more and we can stretch even more so it doesn't have to be as big as your pan or the actual pita size and place it to your pan. The first pan I'm using is nonstick. I just sprinkled some wheat bran. If you don't have you can also sprinkle semolina or thick cornmeal and place the dough. For the second video I used my regular baking tray and I realized that I didn't use as much as bran so either use 
lot of bran or uh, semolina or line your tray with baking paper because it tends to stick while baking Cover the doughs with clean kitchen towel and dampen it with water so they don't dry on top. And let them rise again until they risen once more. Meanwhile, I'm preparing my egg wash. I have one egg yolk, added a teaspoon each, yogurt and olive oil. Give it a good mix and it's ready. As you can see they are risen again. I spread half of the mixture generously over top being gentle. If you want to make your pide a bit thinner you can stretch. And I'm gonna show two ways of shaping. First you make a frame and then make the classic pide shape. As you can see, traditionally we shape the pides with our fingers. So it should be pickly clean as always and you shouldn't have any long nails. In the second version, you don't make a frame, just begin to make the little cushions all over. Sprinkling generously roasted sesame seeds and nigella seeds on top and we are ready to bake. My oven is preheated to 225 Celsius degree and I placed my Ramazan pides as you can see. They bake quickly, it's a hot oven so make sure to check and in half way change the pides, sprinkle water to keep them moist and continue to bake. Meanwhile with my daughter Zeynep we made shekhar pare for the iftar and baked them after the pides. I have the recipe on my channel I'm gonna add as a link. It is one of our favorite syrupy desserts at home. You can give it a try. And here are the Ramazan pides. It took about 20-25 minutes to bake. This time I like the one with the frame better. Which one would you prefer to shape? They were baked well. Nice golden color both on top and bottom. I'm gonna show you now. It is also still very soft, you can bend it easily and smells delicious my friends. So this was my Ramadan pide enriched with some milk and egg yolk on top. Give it a try, I gave all the details as much as I can, I hope you enjoy. More iftar and Ramadan recipes are on the way, stay tuned and see you next time. Afiyet olsun. Are you